What's going on everybody? Tom here with Black Sheep Keto and welcome to the first vlog since the rebranding. Now today is actually going to be a little bit keto and a little bit more of just like a lifestyle thing for me. So uh, first thing I want to do is I want to give you guys a weight update since I never did that before we left for KetoCon. Sorry about that. Totally spaced my mind. That barbecue series had my attention. Then um, I've got some prep work to do because as some of you guys may have known that watch this channel, I'm an avid motorcycle enthusiast. I ride all over the place. Last year we made Vegas to Sturgis, South Dakota in under 24 hours to get our Iron Butt Association certificates. Um, we're not doing anything that crazy this year, but we are going to be riding from Vegas to Sturgis, South Dakota for the Sturgis Motorcycle Rally, which means my Harley needs its 10,000 mile service because it'll get 10,000 miles halfway through there. Well, unfortunately, that's very expensive to have done by Harley, so I'm going to do it myself, and hey, may as well set up a camera and shoot some cool clips if you guys are into that kind of stuff. But first, I really want to get into the weight update because I was really bad about updating you guys on that. So, did I make 215 pounds before KetoCon? No. Uh, I actually hit 218 pounds the day before we left KetoCon, and, or the day before we left for KetoCon. Um, and honestly, that was okay with me. This was kind of like a mid-checkpoint for me. I'm not done with this cut, but I felt like that was pretty close. I went from like 236 or whatever the original weigh-in was down to 218, almost 20 pounds off. I'm okay with that, especially considering we had a vacation right in the middle of there, and that kind of knocked me off track and some other various things. But that's good for me. I'm going to keep going until we get as low as we can. The very exciting thing though was the day I got back or the day after I got back from KetoCon, um, I went down to my gym and we have an in-body machine there, which is like basically it measures your body fat percentage, your muscle mass, gives you a whole bunch of other data. They're not quite as accurate as a DEXA scan, but they claim to be about 98% as accurate as one through their own testing mechanisms, which we all know how much you can trust that. But anyway, I wanted to share that data with you guys because I have it right here and I think it is really cool and it's probably the first piece of actual data I have in my body since I've lost all the weight. So I'm going to scoop myself over and pop this up on the screen here. The first thing you guys are going to notice is the weight on here is 224.7. You're going to go, but Tom, you just said you were 218 before you left for KetoCon. Yeah, I know. I weigh myself naked, and this was in the middle of a gym, so I was fully clothed. And guys, let's be honest, I ate a lot of crap at KetoCon. Like, yes, it was keto stuff, but all these vendors want you to sample all their products. Dude, I was so bloated, it wasn't even funny. So I'm all right with that 224.7. Um... It's come down since then, thankfully, guys, because I'm shooting this actually on uh, July 13th. So anyway, what I really want to draw the attention to is the body fat percentage. Now, me looking in the mirror, I've always thought recently that I'm around 16, 17% body fat. Um, turns out that's not true. I am 13.6% body fat, which is actually lower than I have ever thought I could be. Now, the reason I don't, or the reason I speculate my abs aren't super visible is because I do have a bit of loose skin from being 325 pounds. Um, which is a little bit disheartening because I really wanted to have that absolutely shredded physique, but maybe that'll never happen for me and I'm just going to have to accept that because 13.6 body fat is awesome. Now, I do want to get below 10%, so we're still going to keep doing this cut, but having that piece of data is really cool. The other thing that I thought was interesting on here was if you look at the chart of the little guy, which I'll zoom in on, you'll notice that my body mass or my muscle mass is over 100% in every category. So to my understanding or the way it was explained to me was that means that I have more muscle mass than the average person in those particular categories. And I exceed it in every single one. To me, that's freaking cool. Now, what is really interesting is my right side is significantly stronger than my left, which I thought was weird at first. But now that I'm thinking about it, my left hip went out first. So I've had to kind of be careful with my left side. When I was younger, I broke and dislocated my left foot. So there was a lot of time where I wasn't using my left leg. And not too long ago, when I was in Punta Cana, I fell and screwed up my left hand. So you know what? Kind of makes sense that my left side is a little weaker than my right because I've had to kind of baby it compared to the right side over the course of my life. Another interesting fact for you guys is this machine will measure your basal metabolic rate, which is the number of calories you need to consume, assuming you are just laying in bed doing absolutely nothing and you want to maintain the same weight. And for me, that is 2,272 calories. So let's round it. I can eat 2,300 calories and lay in bed all day and not gain a single pound. That's freaking cool. That's going to really help me adjust my macros for this cut. But anyway, guys, I'm done boring with the data. I'm really into that stuff. I know not everybody is, but uh, those in-body machines are really cool. If you can find one somewhere near where you live, I really recommend it. I've never done one before, but it is a really good piece of data to have. And I think I'm going to try to do one every month or so just so I can kind of quantify my progress. And having the actual metrics to prove that what I'm doing is working is actually really reassuring to me. So I'm going to head downstairs and get working on the Harley. I've got my 10,000 mile service to do. My dad's got some parts to put on his bike and my buddy needs his 10,000 mile service as well. So we got three bikes we're going to work on today. And um, 
yeah, I'm the only one with a lift, so it's all getting done at my house. So that'll be fun. I'm gonna shoot some B-roll while we're in there. And then a uh, little thing, special announcement. You probably saw it already in the title or whatever, but we're gonna get to that at the very end of the video. So I'll even put a timestamp right there so you don't have to watch the whole thing if you're bored. But there is some very exciting news coming from the Black Sheep Keto family. So I will see you guys after this B-roll. <laughs> All right, everybody, so I told you at the beginning of the video that I have some big news. It was probably in the title somewhere, and it is not clickbait. Yes, Olivia and I are getting married. Uh, we got engaged back in April over the Dominican Republic. I'll get to that in just a second, before people started dying there. Uh, it was a really nice vacation, and um, after being together for like eight and a half years, I figured it was about time we got married, because we are still young, we're only 25, so we had some time to play with. But anyway, yes, we are officially engaged. Um, I don't know if she wants to tell you the story or me tell you the story. I think some of you may be interested in that. Let's let her talk. So it was really awesome. He actually chartered a private hot air balloon and we were flying over the pastures of uh, the Dominican Republic. It was beautiful. We were the only people in the sky and I was busy looking at cows because they're my favorite animal. And all of a sudden he's like, hey, Olivia, I got a question for you. I turn around and he is down on one knee. Will you marry me? I I think I said yes. I think so. I think so. It may have There's footage up. somewhere. I got the hot air balloon pilot to like hook up a GoPro and all that. And he had a nice like bottle of champagne up there. But the funny thing is, is as cool of a story as it is, it was not actually my original idea. And my original idea didn't end up working out one bit. And I'm kind of glad in a way because this is much more of a crazy story. Um, but the original idea was I was going to have a photographer and we were talking about just shooting couples photos because we've never really done that. Um, and then we started seeing the prices on it and she shot it down. So I'm sitting there panicking going, oh shit, you know, how am I going to do this? What am I going to do? Like that was my plan going down there. Um, and it turned out like we were taking that hot air balloon ride anyway. Um, and I know that sounds crazy to some people, but like after the whole one October thing, Olivia and I have been just pretty much doing everything on our bucket list because you never know how long you got. So we, uh, you know, that was something we wanted to do later next year. We're going in a submarine, just various stuff like that. It was nothing out of the ordinary because everybody was asking, well, how did you not know? Like, it actually was not my original plan to do it in a hot air balloon, but it just ended up being a cooler story because she shot down my original idea I, without I even knowing it. I seriously told him, like, absolutely not. We're not paying this much money for pictures. And little did I know I was shutting down the way he wanted to propose. And to be fair, it was like $700 for like 18 photos or something stupid. It was ridiculous. But regardless, it ended up being pretty cool. There's a company called Dominican Balloons. Um, maybe I'll link them in the description. The guy was really cool. Uh, the guy who owns it and runs it is the uh, air traffic control manager at the airport. So it was actually pretty safe because I was thinking this might be sketchy in kind of like a underdeveloped country going up on a hot air balloon. Oh, but gorgeous, totally knew what he was doing and a really great experience. If you're ever down there after people stop getting sick from the alcohol, I really do recommend it. If you are going to ask your girlfriend to marry you, uh, she was impressed by it. Everybody that's heard this story has actually thought it was really cool. So there's an idea for some of you guys out there. You should show them a picture of it. 
Yeah, I can put a picture on the screen right now. I, I, and maybe I'll put the GoPro footage on if I can uh, get it to fit in the video somehow. But for sure, I'll throw a picture on the screen probably right now. Um, in any case, yeah, I want to let you guys know that because at KetoCon, people were noticing. Um, I don't know if you guys saw that video I did with Ben where he said that he was going to come out and see me in Vegas. That is why. So the Primal Bro will probably be out here for our wedding if everything lines up perfectly. And uh, yeah, I just felt like I was kind of uh, keeping a secret from some of you guys since the people that you know we ran into obviously noticed and uh, thought it was time to kind of get that out there. So in terms of our plans, yes, we are getting married next June here in Las Vegas. We already have the venue locked down. It's gonna be June 4th and uh, we're kind of in the planning process right now. It is very overwhelming. I do not wanna do it. She does not wanna do it. And that is why we haven't gotten engaged or married yet was because it's just a lot of work and uh, quite frankly, a lot of money for a party, right? It is so, so much planning, but fortunately we're going to a place that does the reception and the... Yeah, that's the thing with Vegas. Like there's a million wedding chapels mm -hmm. going from like all the way from a drive through where you can be married by Elvis all the way to some super expensive, fancy $100,000 weddings that I can't afford. Um, but we did find a place kind of in the middle. It's a nice venue and uh, I, I think that it's gonna go well, but it is one of those kind of all-inclusive packages, which is again, a benefit of living in Las Vegas. People come out here to get married. So they're gonna get a hold of, you know, the minister or whoever's all gonna- All the way down to the hair and makeup guys. Yeah, That's like fantastic. <laughs> everything's taken care of. And uh, I just have to meet with them a few times and taste some food and tell them colors and they're just gonna set it up and we show up. So that's kind of my style. Like I have almost no free time in my life and as fun as wedding planning is for some people, planning anything is not fun for me. I kind of just live life by the seat of my pants. Yeah, if it were <laughs> up to us, like we would not be planning this at all. So that is the big news for you guys. So there will be both of us, you know, on this channel from time to time. You guys have seen Olivia before and uh, yeah, we're getting married after eight and a half years together. It'll be nine and a half by the time we get married, yeah. but that's all right. Since junior year of high school, guys. <laughs> yep. If you guys have any ideas for our wedding, go ahead and leave them below in the comments. I'm really lost at planning this whole wedding, so I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Yeah, I uh, had a few ideas. Most of them got shot down. Um, I wanted to ride my motorcycle up the onto the uh, altar area. The venue said no. I'd have to pick up a secondary insurance policy. We might do that anyway. Um, they can't stop us if we're moving, right? But anyway, it's gonna be a lot of fun. And as we go through this planning process, I'll probably bring the camera along, uh, maybe to some of the meetings with the uh, venue staff and just things like that. If you guys are interested, let us know in the comments if you actually wanna see that. Uh, I know like Keto Connect did it when they were getting married. I don't know how much you guys actually care about that. If you do, let us know. If not, I won't bore you with it. But that guys, I'm gonna go ahead and close with the video. If you like this video, leave it a like. If you have any questions, comments, words of advice for us, whatever, leave them down in the comment section. And if you have not subscribed, do me a huge favor guys, hit that subscribe button, show us some love, and I will see you in the next one.